Hey everybody, I just set up this treadmill in my unfinished basement and decided that I wanted to mount a small TV above the treadmill to help me pass the time when I'm working out. But here's the thing, um, you know, I thought initially I'd just get a, a wall-mounted bracket um, and drill into the concrete, but then as I started thinking about it more, I realized that when I go to sell my house, I'm gonna have to explain the, the holes in the foundation and I don't wanna make people unnecessarily nervous. So um, I decided that maybe a better product would be a ceiling mounted uh, TV bracket. So I went out and picked up the cheapest one that I could. You know, I don't mind spending extra money for quality products, but look where we are. That's my, that's my workout buddy, my boiler, right? So. I don't really care to spend a ton of money in this location. So just doing this project on a budget and um, thought I'd share the installation and assembly of the bracket uh, with you guys in case you guys are thinking along the same lines. And uh, I hope this helps. Let's head over to the workbench. Okay, folks, here's the ceiling mounted TV bracket. Um, this accommodates TVs 32 inches to 55 inches. And I'm going to uh, unbox this with you. I've already opened it up and taken off some of the packaging, so this will go a little quicker. Um, this was, at the time of this filming, $27 um, on Amazon. So I'll provide a link in the description uh, to this product in case it ends up being a good fit for you. All right, let's get into it. So we've got some instructions. We have some extension poles here. This is the mount at the very top. This is the piece that goes on the back of the TV. And then all the hardware, all the hardware is laid out here and labeled A, B, C, etc so you can follow along with the instructions. Okay, so let's start putting this together. I'm going to just hand tighten things for now, and we'll play this back in double speed to keep the video short. Let's get into it. Okay, here it is, fully assembled. Let's get a closer look. This little connection was trickier to do, but you guys will figure it out. Okay, so let's take this up to the treadmill 
and see how it's going to fit in the space. Okay. All right, so up here where the ceiling joists are, you can see that the place that I'm gonna to wanna to mount this falls right in between the two joists. So I'll have to add a two by four across there to attach the bracket to. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, I'm also seeing that this is um, currently too tall. So I'm gonna take out the middle tube to make this a little bit shorter. All right, let's take it over to the workbench again. All right, just a couple bolts. All right, that's better. our two by four. I'm going to pre-drill it and screw it in place. I disassembled the top part of the bracket so that I could have better access to the screws that I needed to drive up into the two by four. Next step, we'll attach the uh, bottom part and start uh, adjusting the height. So it is starting to take shape now. I've got the uh, bracket fully mounted. Uh, one thing we need to do now is to make an adjustment to the height uh, based on some measurements of my TV. Uh, it looks like I actually need to lower this bracket a little bit, uh, at least the part that mounts to the TV. So I'll be doing that in just a minute. If you look on the side here, this right here is the bolt that I need to remove. And once I do that, this cylinder slides down or up. Uh, in my case, I will be going down four inches. Um, so once you have it mounted here, it can be adjusted in two inch increments up to a maximum of eight inches, um, which is pretty cool. So you've got some options there. All right, so I'm gonna get that taken care of and then I'll come back to you. So here's my final height. And you can see, I just dropped the cylinder a little bit and you can see these preset drill holes where that bolt can be rerun through once you, uh, you know, adjust it properly. So that's how that works. Now I'm actually going to remove that bolt entirely because I want to disconnect this bottom part and bring it to my TV to mount this piece to the back of it. So we'll get to that next. Here is the TV that I'll be using. And if we go around the back side, we can see the four different mounting points for the TV bracket. And I have here the lower portion of that TV bracket from inside that I disconnected to help us with the installation. And the kit comes with different size screws that correspond to different you know, female ends here. Um, I wanna caution you that uh, when you're installing this, don't over tighten these. If you feel resistance as you're screwing them in, let it be. Um, if you over tighten it, you have the potential to actually um, send the bolt through into the screen and damage your TV, so be careful. Uh, let me set this up on a little tripod here and I can show you this going together. All right. I'm just hand tightening this for now. And from this point forward, as I reconnect everything, I'm gonna be doing full tool tightening on everything as opposed to just this hand tightening approach here for the, for the sake of keeping the video moving. All right, but you get the gist there, right? So now that this is connected, once I tighten it, I can take this back in and then reconnect the bolt up here. You can see the preset drill holes for that bolt to go through. Um, and then the TV installation will be complete. 
So for the last connection, I actually folded up my treadmill and pulled it away from the wall. And this step, I need more hands than I have to properly operate the camera and show you. But here's the TV with the uh, bracket sticking up, the, the, the uh, cylinder sticking up the back. Um, I'm gonna be making that connection back to here. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, installation complete. So I'll get up close and show you that here's where those two pieces came together, right? Um, and before I close out the video, I wanna just show you some of the, uh, the movements of the bracket. So we'll get around this side here and you can see this right here has a little bit of a, a play to it. So right now it's tightened down, but if I were to loosen it, I would be able to angle the tilt of, of the TV this way. And then once I got it to the desired position, I would need to retighten it with a tool. Um, this bracket right here controls the pivot going this way. Um, this is the only adjustment that has a, a hand tightening adjustment. In other words, for this, I need to have a tool. So if I wanted to make frequent changes to the position of the TV, that would be a little bit um, tricky. Um, this one, however, is just a, a, a hand turn. So I could change the, the tilt this way and this way um, as much as I wanted to with ease. And then the last adjustment is up here at the top. So the way I have it mounted works just fine for me. Um, what I could have done if I wanted to have a little bit more control this way, right, with a little swing, is I could have reframed this up here a little differently so that this bracket could have been mounted sideways. And then you have this bolt right here, which can be adjusted and then tightened to control that position. Um, anyway, I hope that all made sense. So there you have it, that's everything. I think the only thing left to do is go for a run. Thanks for watching guys.